What's up, Chargers? My name is Chris Luciano, and I return to bring you Tech Ed. Time to tie off for your dose of technology. On March 18th, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, added Auction 73, also known as the 700 megahertz auction, which had been taking place since January 24th, 2008. The auction itself was for 1,099 licenses, which make up both national and regional coverage. The 700 megahertz frequency band will cease to be used after February 17th, 2009, when all television will no longer be broadcast on this frequency band. On February 8th, 2006, President Bush signed into law the Digital Television Transition and Public Safety Act of 2005, which mandated that all television being broadcast in the United States transition to an all-digital means of transmission. Once broadcasters make the transition to digital, the spectrum of frequency will be available for the winning bidder to begin to use. This spectrum is coveted thanks to its ability to penetrate any and all materials, such as buildings. The idea is this new spectrum will offer consumers an alternative to the cable DSL duopoly that has dominated the market. The auction was announced last year and the guidelines were published late last summer. One of the bidders, Google Inc., wanted the FCC to mandate some conditions for the auction. Those conditions were open access for devices as well as software and also requiring the winning bidder to sell the bandwidth on the wholesale market. The FCC mandated the first two conditions on the C-Block, but decided not to require the winning bidder to sell bandwidth. As any person who has purchased a cell phone in the United States knows, all carriers offer proprietary and lost hardware meant to be used on only their network. These standards are great for business, but bad for consumers, and stifle the overall advancement of technology. Two of Google's requests to the FCC were granted, but not without some backlash by other bidders mainly Verizon Wireless, who filed a lawsuit against the FCC proclaiming that the requirements of open access violate the U.S. Constitution as well as the Administrative and Procedures Act. Verizon later quietly dropped the case against the FCC. The auction raised a record $19.592 billion, advanced new wireless open platform policy, created opportunities for the Next for downloading this edition of Seascope, I'm Edward Dervis. Good luck. 